Welcome to the church show. We are not in our normal habitat. And we are done talking about Moses. We're moving on to the next thing. Moving on up. Moving on up. Moving on up. What are we talking about? Today, Merritt, we're going to take a little break from doing stories and series, okay? Okay. Today, we're going to have ourselves a good old-fashioned shootout. Going with, what are we doing? Between two new fishing poles I got. What you get? This this uh, this video is actually kind of coming to you and is sponsored by my uh, younger sister. Oh. She bought these fishing poles for me. Okay. Out of the kindness of her heart. Some really freakishly early birthday gift, I guess. And uh, anyhow. Right. Anywho. 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 So these are very small rods. They're very small rods. So what I thought is, all right. Right. What I'm thinking is you and I go fishing. Okay. Okay. And, uh, you know, we can take some other stuff with us, too, and enjoy our time there and make the most of it. Right. But uh, we're going to have a little shootout between the uh, Doc Demon Deluxe and the Doc Runner. Okay. I like this. And we're going to see which one of us... Can catch a fish off ...catches of the fish. Which one brings them in, Merritt? Okay. Which one brings them in? I like this idea. Yeah. This is, this is good. This is going to be good. This, this is going to be, be real good. This is going to be fun. fun. This is going to be fun. Welcome back. We're here. We are here at the dock. We're gonna, we're gonna have ourselves a little fishing competition. We are. See, these rods are basically similar. The exact same thing. They're just competitors from two different companies. Yep. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna see who can outfish the other. Ch -ch Challenge. You know, Merritt? What? Fishing uh -huh. like this. One of those things. It's kind of like you know we we both have pretty extensive tackle boxes. Yeah. You know we got we got square bills and soft plastic lures and spinners and jigs and all those fancy fishing baits. Correct. You know, I, you tell me what you think, but uh, to me it seems the more baits you have in your tackle box the better chances you have of catching a fish. I would say so. Would you agree with that? Yeah, 100%. Well, you know, that's kind of like while you're trying to tell folks about Jesus at school. Right. You know, I think we can all tell folks that Jesus loves them. Exactly. You know, but can we tell you how much he loves you? Well, that's why we have to go to the Bible. You know, that's why you got to know scripture. No, in scripture, it's like, it's basically your biblical tackle box. That's your, exactly. Exactly. Well, it it's your biblical, it's your biblical tackle, tackle box. Tackle box. Okay, so I want to clear something up real quick. Merritt and I were out there fishing on the dock, and we got to talking a bunch of fishing lingo and using a bunch of fishing terms. I just want to make sure everybody understands. Okay, what we're talking about is having a lot of different types of bait. Uh, and he and I mentioned, uh, I think we mentioned square bills and jigs and uh, different kinds of things and so the idea here is you have different colors you have different shapes and different styles and different baits are going to attract different fish even at different times of the year so the idea is you want a nice full tackle box a full tackle box increases your chances and what that means to a Christian is simply this. If you are a Christian, you know Jesus. Jesus lives in your heart. You need to start learning how to help other people understand how to have Jesus come and live in their heart. You know, and how, how to live excited to be close to God. And so the idea is if you can add some bait to your tackle box then you have a better chance of sharing that more clearly. As far as fishing baits, I've already shown you some, uh, but a nice full tackle box really does increase your chances. This is another kind we use a lot. Uh, <clears throat> the idea is this bait might work and catch one type of fish, 
but it won't catch it another time type and so you got to use this one instead does that make sense this one works on some this one works on others when you're trying to tell people about Jesus some things are gonna work and some things won't so you need to know your Bible read your Bible a lot and then tell people about the Bible and hopefully you can memorize some Bible verses along the way. If you're in Awana here at Flat Creek Baptist Church, we have a phenomenal Awana program on Wednesday nights. You're already memorizing scripture, so make sure you hold on to them. Okay, don't forget the scripture verses you memorize because you're going to need to be able to tell those to people one day in hopes that they want to have Jesus come live in their heart just like you do. I just wanted to clear that up to make sure everybody understood. We'll get back to fishing now. I'm just going to point this out real quick. Both of our rods and reels did equally bad. Yes. Hopefully next time. But next time. We will catch fish. There's going to be fish on, baby. Sorry. We hope you've enjoyed this episode of The Church Show. We will see you next week. I don't know what we're talking about yet. Make sure you add some stuff to your tackle box. Learn about Jesus so you can tell others about him. The more you know, the more you can share.